I teach a course in psychology. It's for uh, majors, uh, Psych 353 Social Development. And I was interested, and I took the um, large course initiative to try to figure out ways where I could um, incorporate more of the methods and science that we use in psychology into one of these larger lectures. The class is about 150, which is a really large class for majors. And so I'm trying to teach them more advanced skills um, in something that's set up as more of a, a lecture area. So that's why I was interested in uh, finding ways like Google Forms uh, to get experiments uh, and surveys into the class to make it more salient to the students about how we do psychological research. What I was looking for was something that I could integrate with my existing lectures that I had uh, and was easy to use for the students um, off their existing technology that they had, whether it was a phone or a laptop, and also just something easy for me to do. So I, I redesigned my class where we had uh, a lecture on one of the two days that I taught, and on the second day we had this more interactive uh, methodology section where they were interacting with the methods. And the Google Forms worked perfectly for that. So I was able to do what we do anyway in psychology, which is create questionnaires or create coding schemes um, and make that available to the students to use interactively while we were in class. Uh, and you could do it in lots of different ways. You had a lot of control over how the questions were asked. Uh, and the nice thing is it always went out as a link to the students. So whatever technology they were using, they were able to just click on the link and use it. And we were able just to go on with the activity of uh, coding the videos that were on the screen. So this is an example of one of the coding sheets that we used. In this case, I'm doing it in the classroom. The students are watching videos, and then they're coding when I stop the video and making one of these choices. This is the edit screen that I look at when I create the questions. Uh, so I choose the question and I choose how I want it to come out. I decide whether or not they can answer one or more questions. This is the form they see from their end. So when they click the link that they receive um, from the class site, from CTools, or from my email, this is what they see. If we go back uh, to view responses, this is the real-time responses that came in. So this was all done in the class. Uh, at the same time, all of these responses came in. We had no issue with um, the students doing that. And then I would turn around after each time that they answered the questions, and I would show them um, what their data looked like, which shows up as these pie charts. Uh, and then we spend time talking about why they answered the questions that they did. Um, in the first case, most of the class um, accurately coded um, what was happening in the video. And so we talked about how that could be used for research, and that's the type of thing we're looking for um, when we collect information on how parents and children are interacting with each other. But on the second question, uh, it varied. Uh, the students weren't very good at, at determining what the behavior was, and we talked about how uh, this data would not be able to be used uh, in research, that we'd have to go back and retrain the coders on how to look at this behavior. And this started um, getting a lot of questions back and forth. You can see that it was a pretty strong response rate, 119, so these were all the uh, students that were in class. They easily answered this through their iPhones or uh, laptops or uh, working with somebody else that was sitting next to them. Uh, and so it was, it was quite easy, and it, it really it did allow for uh, a real discussion of the kind of methodology that we use in psychology in order to get information uh, about children's development. So what I liked about using Google Forms is that I really didn't have to know anything about the technology prior for after about five, ten minute instruction. I knew how to use the Google Forms. It's, it's really simple. Um, it, it also, I was able to see that students in the class, when you look and see how they're responding, you can see that about 80% of the class is interacting with me and interacting with this, this technology, which in a large class of 150, you might get three or four people, you know, you're lucky if you get more than that, raising their hands to answer your question. Here I'm getting a large portion of the class answering my questions through answering these forms. The students liked it uh, because they were able to see immediately uh, what, how they answered the question and how that compared to everybody else in the classroom, and then also integrate it with what we've been talking about in that week. And so I, I think they found it um, 
nice to have some, and, and this is a pretty low form of technology, but some form of technology being used in the class that they could interact with. And also um, my GSI in, in the moment as we went through the semester was able to actually add questions within the time of the class that then the students could answer. So it's very flexible in that way, which isn't true for things that you have to set up ahead of time. Uh, I also just like that I didn't have to take any special training uh, in order to uh, use Google Forms, uh, which when you're trying to get ready for a semester is a real time saver to be able to just to use something that you can kind of drop into your class as well. Um, I'm now going to, it, it was because it was so um, so exciting for me, it was like probably the best class that I felt like I had taught, that the students were really engaged. I'm planning on continuing to use this in my class. I want to integrate it more into the lectures, not just have a day when, I, when I'm kind of using the Google Forms, but have more interactions with the material from the lecture as well as have this methodological uh, site as well. And I'm hoping that that will continue to expand and not even just using it for large classes because I see all the value of using this with even smaller classes where uh, as I pose questions, students can answer them interactively uh, and I can get feedback even while I'm, I'm using the lecture. And again, because it's so easy to use, it's something that you can incorporate um, pretty much into anything you do, whether it's a large class or a small class.